History was made last night when, for the first time in Major League Baseball history, an all-female announcing crew called a game. It's part of a growing trend in sports, and particularly baseball, where our opportunities are opening for women, and that includes right here in Fargo. We don't give her any special treatment. She's been able to do everything we've asked her to. We ask her to do the same things that we ask any of our other guys on the crew to do. Jessica Withrow became the first female groundskeeper with the Red Hawks this summer. And while she didn't set out to break a barrier, she admits she always noticed the imbalance. When I go to baseball games, like we grew up going to them, you never saw a woman on the field. But her sister Leah has helped change that and in turn inspired Jessica to do the same. She's only one of four heads groundskeepers. And like that's crazy to think because there's a hundred plus teams, if not more, and that's just really inspiring personally. Leah is the head groundskeeper for the Reno Aces, the AAA team for the Arizona Diamondbacks. She's the first female to head a crew in the AAA ranks and was able to teach her little sister a thing or two last summer while minor league baseball was halted for COVID. So I kind of learned a little bit then, but I didn't really get the game experience, obviously. When Jessica took a teaching job in Warren, Minnesota and decided to stick around the area for the summer, her sister months. made a call to some fellow former Bison and once again, history was made. Great work ethic, work ethic. I mean, we got a list on the board and she knocks it all out and it comes and asks me what else needs to be done. Uh, she's been a great addition to this team. Once the little girl in the stands herself, Jessica says she's aware and proud of the example she's setting. I know I just want to inspire others and I know my sister has inspired me and so I want to just keep passing that along. Just another task on the long list of work she does all in a day's work. Now, Jessica's actual calling is to be a teacher. She's currently a second grade teacher in Warren, Minnesota, but she says she loves the gig and hopes to come back as long as she can. Great story.